against Wesley. So also a non-standard outcome from the opening. And it is Maxime who has to win with the white pieces. Wesley needs only a draw. And what do we make of this position? I haven't seen this before. Chaos. Look at the pawns. Both sides have six of them, but they're in different locations. Black has B7 and C7 pawns. White has those pawns in the center. Now you would think that has to favor the player with central pawns. We typically say control the center, but Black will do that with his minor pieces. Also the white king on G1 without its fian kill bishop sitting in front of it, that can be dangerous. So for those of you thinking, let me take that knight on C6 with my bishop, ruin Black's pawn structure, think again, you might find your king in a world of hurt. Now let's just show that, Robert, because it looks like strategically you're winning here. This is just a horrible pawn structure uh, for Black, but more importantly, it's all about this square. And um, Bishop will park itself there, and White's King. I mean, look at the white pieces. It's basically Fisher random chess, and uh, uh, you don't have any activity at all. Yeah, simply, this would be disastrous. Instead, he pushes forward E3, and he's going to try and build a pawn center. It's essentially uh, these middle pawns against the flank pawns. Black's pawns are maybe harder to push. Uh, personally, I prefer White's chances. And uh, still, with a six-minute advantage on the clock, like a opening success for Maxime Bashir Legrand. He's got a complex position and uh, Wesley still needs to find some stability. He moves his knight into the center, asking for the pawn to push forward to d4 with gain of time. <clears throat> bit odd that one, I must say, a bit mysterious. He's clear his throat, he said, come again. I think that Wesley actually might be in some semblance of, I don't want to say pure preparation, but he has understanding of this position because knight e5 is not a move you play, I feel like without a natural feel for the position. d4 is automatic, but d4 doesn't actually threaten the knight on e5. There's a pin, so we'll, there he goes. He pushes with c5, exploiting that pin. Push your pawn to d5, get a pass pawn in the center, that's great, but you also hand me a pass pawn along c file, and we saw Maxime in that first game between the two use a pass c pawn to his uh, success, and we'll see if Wesley can do the same. I'm just wondering, did Maxime forget about this idea of c5 or that his queen was pinned? Because suddenly, you've got questions to answer. You don't want to create a weakness in the center of the board with the trades that will happen on d4. Uh, Maxime does slow down. I'm still thinking about Wesley's reaction at the start about his bid, starting with about eight and a half minutes. But with the draw odds, do you think he's happy with the last few moves, getting c5 in and feeling more pleased? Now, the knight is attacked. I think Wesley will be thrilled that he's trading off pawns. At least it's clearer what Black should be doing now. Uh, the more pawns pieces that disappear, the clearer uh, things become. But yeah, Maxime, he did react slightly. I'm trying to read maybe too much into the body language. But uh, suddenly after C5 was played, he's put his hand on his face. Uh, definitely a missed one there. And uh, Wesley not actually clarifying the tension in the center. First planting his knight on a nice outpost, threatening to remove White's dark square bishop, a very important piece. But not just threatening that. If you slide your bishop back to the corner, the knight goes to D2 with a fork of those two rooks. I have not seen a tactic like this at this early of a stage, but knight D2 is a threat, and I guess Maxime's allowing. Can you take on D4 first and then follow with knight to D2? Looks that way. Why not? This is a nasty fork, just to highlight your uh, point there, Robert, and your winning material. He plays it. This must have been missed by Vasily Grab. Such a rare pattern.
Maxime is with his play. Uh, just posing problems despite his lack of a queen. But this one ultimately should still be winning for Wesley with the increment especially. And uh, okay, okay, it goes on. Goes on, David. Uh, just amazing. He can jump in with the queen, uh, a check to f2, but that just invites white's king forward. King g5, there are no checks. Yeah, he's found a formation, a setup he's happy with Wesley's own. White break from uh, your comfort zone. Queen back, forth, back, forth. It's up to white. The pressure's on white here to actually do something. And it's just impossible to do so, unfortunately. No way forward. It is heartbreaking uh, for Maxime, who really did try to do everything in this game uh, with White. A must-win game with White in the Armageddon. And now it is, uh, that is, that looks like pretty much about to be the end. Maxime continues to fight. King to h4, no checks. No checks, but oh, I have a feeling someone's going to blunder. I mean, oh we nearly gosh. saw it once, right? <laughs> but it feels it so difficult for Black to blunder this away, unless you let that G-pawn start running up the board, and that queen will always have checks to deliver against the white king. But now if you check on F2, maybe the king goes up to G5, and suddenly we're talking about the makings of a checkmating net. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Wesley still has over a minute on the clock, and he's getting increment all of a sudden. But it's just weird that this game continues in a way that we're talking about attacking chances for white. I've never I've never seen anything like this. I, I mean, a knight, a couple of pawns for a queen, and Maxime continues to fight. He continues to play on. Wesley, it just looks like he's finding, trying to find a way to just finish the game on the spot. To try to find his job, and in the process, he's giving Maxime chances. Chances to improve the position. The pawn has moved up the board. The king is coming in now. And this really reminds me of game six of that world championship match between Carlson and Napomnichi. Apart from the fact Black has a rook for one of White's pawns. Same material imbalance, but uh, actually pieces, they do fight. And pawns, they do fight quite well against a queen. Here, White's king is surprisingly safe, but unfortunately, there's no way to get to the Black king. And Maxime keeps trying, keeps probing away the check. The king sidesteps. It's six under control. Now maybe rook g8 is the move I would play because I just want to deliver a checkmate from the black side. The white king, it's trying to be used as a weapon with limited material remaining. Whoa! He gives up his rook because he's going to get the knight back. That's actually very clever. I thought, you know, what is Wesley doing? But you could see the oomph in that move. He grabbed that pawn and slammed it down. Oh, he knows now. He knows psychologically that's a killer blow. A check, knight. Oh, he doesn't Ooh, even... Oh, he picks up nine. the rook! Wow. Oh, Maxim continues to play, but now with all the rooks on the board, this is over. This is over. Only needing a draw. Uh, uh, it should be straightforward now. You can just give all the checks in the world. Just don't blunder a knight fork. White supports will never really push. Oh, oh, okay, that's, that's that DGT board just doing crazy things to us. It put the queen on a square, the knight can take it. But Wesley, he's not going to blunder the queen. No, Wesley can't believe that Maxime is still playing, that he hasn't resigned already. Hey, uh, resignation is a loss. Getting checkmated is a loss. So why resign? You only have a chance to uh, take this match if you play on. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable play by Maxime there. He is probably going to lose this game. But just full credit to the Frenchman to fighting this out till the very end. And that is it. Wesley Saw does it. He finally sacrifices the queen and takes the match against the Frenchman. What an Armageddon. What an Armageddon, so many twists and turns, ups and downs, tactics galore, ultimately Wesley just too solid, and uh, yeah, having Black there, uh, he was able to take the Armageddon, but still one game ongoing, 